Hi, I'm Harry Shin, and I will introduce you into the mysterious world of quantum Paul effect in graphene. This is part of KAIST MS310 YouTube project. Without further ado, let's begin. What is quantum wall effect ultimately? To comprehend this, we'd better skim the classical Hall effect first. The classical Hall effect describes how current flowing through a sample will be affected by the application of a magnetic field. Consider a two-dimensional conducting plate in an electric field EX. Ohm's law states that current will flow in the same direction as the applied electric field. In 1879, Edwin Hall discovered that if we impose an external magnetic field, the current ohm in the plate will actually flow in a direction perpendicular to the electric field. Does it mean Ohm's law doesn't apply in this case? No. When a magnetic field is applied perpendicularly to the conductor, the charges experience the Lorentz force and deviate into the side of the conductor. This separation of charges establishes an electric field EY. Intriguingly, that electric field suppresses further charge buildup. So as long as charges flow along X direction, a steady electric potential VH exists called the Hall voltage. Also, the resistivity of the conductor depends linearly on the magnetic field strength. This is known as the classical Hall effect. How different is the quantum Hall effect from the classical one, especially in graphene? Theretofore, what is graphene and what attributes is it inherent in? Graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. These atoms are strongly connected by in-plane covalent bonds concretely. The sigma bond hybridized between 1x orbital and 2p orbitals. The remaining unhybridized p orbital of each atom, which is perpendicular to the planar surface, supports the fourth valence electron of carbon. These surplus p orbitals are consecutively delocalized, forming a pi electronic band. The electrons feeling the pi bands can move freely in the graphene plane, and we named these relativistic particles into quasi-particles. The wave function for a unit cell of graphene can be expressed with linear combination of two wave functions from two sublattices. Therefore, the Fermi surface of graphene is characterized by six double cones. In the absence of applied fields, the Fermi level is situated at the connection points of these cones, called Dirac points. The quasi-particles in graphene behave as massless fermions in the vicinity of the Dirac point. One peculiar property of interest in graphene is that two distinct quantum wall effects take place even at room temperature. Hold on! Few terms should be noted for the sake of further discussion. In quantum mechanics, Landau quantization refers to the quantization of the cyclotron orbits taken by charged particles in a uniform magnetic field. As a result, the charged particles can only occupy orbits with discrete energy values, called Landau levels. These levels become twofold due to Zeeman effect. The Fillick factor is the number of occupied Landau levels for electrons in a given magnetic field. What matters is that the magnetic field lessens the amount of occupied Landau levels and augments degeneracy. In 2007, Horst Stormer and Daniel Tsui found that, at low temperature and high magnetic field, the Hall resistance in graphene did not vary linearly with the magnetic field, as predicted by the classical Hall effect. Actually, the plot of the resistivity exhibited many plateaus. This phenomenon indicated that the Hall resistance is quantized in units of Planck constant over square of charge of electron. It turns out that the plateaus corresponded to the cases where the 
filling factor has an integer value, referred as the integer quantum Hall effect. What kind of mechanism in graphene is responsible for IQHE? Integer filling factor value, nu, describes a system of non-interacting electrons where the lowest new Londo level is completely filled. Recall that Dirac theorems have the large energy gaps which are proportional to the root of Londo level and magnetic field. In a strong magnetic field, the energy level spacing well exceeds the room temperature thermal energy. Any carriers at the low Londo levels should overcome the huge energy band gap and replenish the next Londo level completely. Until then, the longitudinal Hall resistance is maintained and makes the IQHE robust enough to last even at room temperature. In fact, there is another type of quantum wall effect called fractional quantum wall effect. In 2009, Sudu and Eva Skako conducted quantum Hall effect experiments with cleaner samples and higher magnetic field. They soon found out appearance of new plateaus upon fractional values of filling factor. Taking the cue from IQHE, fractional values of filling factor refer to partially populated Lando states. What is happening under the hood? The magnetic field was so strong that only the lowest Londo level was filled partially. Ta-da! Coulomb repulsion would make an entrance between electrons, and they start to interact each other. This interaction enlarges the gap at low Londo level indices. Note that high-quality samples contributed to powerful Coulomb energy by preventing impurity-induced potential fluctuations. This enhanced Interaction led to a larger energy gap, and the FQHE state persists at much higher temperatures. Moreover, according to the filling factor formula, the number of degenerated states rises as magnetic field strengthens. Since there would be more levels with the same energy, electrons will transit there preferentially. Thus, carriers in the Landau level will not readily alleviate to the next energy level. Last but not least, what fruits can we obtain from graphene QHE? Graphene QHE is called for the state-of-art Hall effect sensors. Graphene-based Hall sensor performs under AC modulated gate voltages and on in-depth characterization of the devices. Hall effect sensor operates by measuring the changing voltage when the device is placed in a magnetic field. To put it another way, once a Hall effect sensor detects that it is now in a magnetic field, it is able to sense the position of objects. Additionally, it can be developed into graphene-based lasers too. The London quantized graphene is embedded between an N-doped and a P-doped semiconductor. They allow a selective ejection of electrons and holes into resonant Londo levels within the orange-shaded channels. This populates between Londo level 1 and 2 in the conduction band and their counterparts in the valence band. The system is embedded into a high-quality microcavity with a resonator mode matching the energy difference between Londo level 1 and 2. Therewith, the cavity photons become multiplied in an avalanche of stimulated transition from Londo level 2 to 1 or from minus 1 to 2, minus 2, achieving coherent emission of light. These were the topics of quantum wall effect in graphene. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.